Hey everyone, I'm here today to show you Aesthetica Ryan in the color, uh, let me get this right, RMH1226RT4. This Ryan was loaned to me by a local wig sister so that I could do a review. So thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share this with all of our wig sisters. She actually loaned me a few different wigs in uh, different versions of this 1226 color so that I could also do a color comparison. So stay tuned for that because Aesthetica has a number of pieces in this 1226 with different letters. And so I wanna show you how they all compare. So. I'll be doing that video soon. All right, Ryan, oh my gosh, Ryan is such a sassy little cut. So this wig sister, when she met me to do the handoff with the wigs, she actually had Ryan on in another color and it looked adorable on her. She's much more petite than I am. I wanna say she's at least five inches shorter than me. Um, just a p cute little petite thing compared to me who's not even, there's not a petite, bone on my body <laughs> um, and it's so cute on her so if you are petite if you have sort of petite features and all of those Ryan is adorable and I think you if you like short styles you might want to consider Ryan so just based on how it looked on her it was amazing so let me show you Ryan from all sides So when I first put Ryan on, I was thinking that a comparison style to Ryan could be Preston by Aesthetica. And so I quickly watched a part, a part of my video review that I did on Preston. So if you haven't seen that, check out Preston. I did do a review on that one. Um, and there are some there are some big differences. You know, Preston doesn't have this long, long front, um, uh, but definitely has sort of this shattered kind of wave going on, maybe just a little bit more of that and so if you like this style but you don't really like this part obviously you can just you can cut that but um, maybe Preston would be good for you because it doesn't have quite this so I would recommend checking that out so this particular piece is a uh, really fun lightweight style uh, and definitely on the lighter density side so press uh, I'm sorry Ryan doesn't have a ton of hair, which is really great. There is really not much in the way of permatees either. I'm not feeling, I mean, there's just a little bit of crimpy fibers, but I'm really not feeling poofy, pillowy permatees. And when I look in the mirror, I mean, she's got body, but it's not like outrageous body. And that is really, really cool because in a style that's really short right here, if you get too much poof on top, it can look a little lopsided. So I really like that about this piece. And obviously with this long front, it's just so sassy. So if you're looking for something a little edgy, this could really work work for you. Um, it's really easy though to tuck, tuck this to the side. So if you don't want quite that edginess, but you really like the style, you can always tuck it. You can always clip this up. Of course you can always trim it, but I think there's other options that you can try before you take a scissors to this piece. So let's talk a little bit about the cap construction. So Ryan has a mono part and a lace front. So that allows you to part Ryan uh, with a more natural looking part line. And then a really, aesthetical lace fronts are really good. I'll show that to you when I put her back on. And she, you know, the rest of the cap is a real basic Aesthetica cap. There is an extended nape, it's open, and bra or hook adjusters, and then definitely um, has the, um, kind of movable ear tabs, but they're not of the velvety material, and that is real standard for Aesthetica caps. Like I said, she's so lightweight. I mean, this is would just be such a perfect piece for summer. Um, just really cute, and I just love the way the 1226 highlighting looks with that rooting. It's adorable. I will get outside for you and show that to you outside. So let me put her back on, and I can show you this lace front. I think the styling options with this particular piece are not going to are going to be a little bit limited because she is shorter and because you know she's got a lot of different layers. I definitely think. Let me just make sure she's on correctly. 
I definitely think you can wear her up. There's the lace front. This is a an aesthetic lace front. It's very good. The rooting is dark though, and so you can see the knots a little bit, but they do such a good job of tying the knots in, not too dense in the front. So if you notice, there's little kind of gaps. That looks so realistic, and that's really a, the way Aesthetica kind of makes their lace fronts look great. And so I really like Aesthetica lace fronts. If you found that to be too knotty and you really like the rooted version, you can always take a little translucent powder and dab it on there, and that will lighten up those knots a little bit. And it's not a permanent, uh, it's not something permanent. So the risk is low to do that. So other than that, you know, I think you can take this and you can clip it up. You can leave a little bit down. This would look really cute with a square band or a headband. And I do have a review of square bands out there. Uh, like I said, it's not heavy permatease. There's a little bit of permatease on either side of this mono part, but Really, it's a great lightweight piece. I think it's perfect for summer. Let me talk a little bit about the nape. So you can see she's kind of short and a bit razored back there. This nape is 2.25 inches long. And let me let me talk a little bit about my uh, experience with napes and, and some maybe helpful tips if you're new. So everybody's hairline, well everybody's hair is different obviously and all of our hair loss is different or the reasons we're wearing wigs are different. And one of the things that can be a challenge with short wigs is if you have a long hairline in the back, you sometimes can see your bio hair poking out if you have a long hairline. I have found just from watching videos and my own experience, napes longer than two inches in general can be a safe length even for people with long hairlines. Obviously there could be people with a hairline a little bit longer than that. So if you're one of them, you can certainly leave that in the comments. So this isn't an all or nothing type statement, but my experience has been two inches or longer, you might not have as much to worry about with a nape. Any nape less than two inches though, I would definitely be aware of my own hairline in relation to that so that you can be prepared to deal with that. The nape on this particular piece is 2.25 inches. So I do think that it's long enough for most people to not have to worry about their bio hair showing. I have a bit of a long hairline in the back and I have found, I have Ignite, by John Renault, which is less than two inches, and sometimes I have trouble with my hairline showing, and now that I've buzzed my hair, that means you can sometimes see stubble right there, especially if I'm between hair buzzings. So just something to keep in mind, the nape on this one should be okay for most people, but if you have an extremely long hairline in the back, keep that in mind so that you can get a color that will blend with your own bio hair. Where that becomes more of a challenge is if you get a color that's extremely different from your bio hair, that's when you start to see um, things like the hair in the back, or if you get hair like the coverage and you get hair showing here, if the color is extremely different from your bio hair, that can be harder to disguise. Um, these rooted colors for me as a brunette are fantastic because that tends to um, make that easier to do because I often have bio hair showing right here and as you can see I do have a little bit of bio hair showing right here, not much. The coverage is actually really good. The ear tab has come all the way down to my ear but with the dark root, my own bio hair being dark, I don't worry about there being a, an extreme contrast in giving away the fact that I'm wearing a wig. Like I said, she is definitely tuckable. So you can tuck her. Um, if you wanted to put some peace out cream in her and really scrunch her up, you sure could. I, you know, I don't want to mess with her too much because this isn't my wig, but I do think you can, you can put some peace out cream to make her tamer, or you can take water and product and really amp up these really cute little curls that she has. So I do think that this has got some styling potential, uh, but she is really short, so there's not a lot you're gonna do with it, but headbands and some clips could really work well. All right, so I'm gonna get outside to show you this color outside, 
But I just wanted to give you a quick highlight of, pre of uh, Ryan since I have her uh, for a short time. And then um, stick around for that color comparison though of these 1226 versions because that is going to be, I hopefully be really helpful because for me, color can be so hard. And then when you get two colors that are like the same numbers but different letters, it can be really hard to know what that means. So anyway, let me know if you have questions about Ryan. She's super cute, super lightweight, super comfortable. Uh, I have extra cap up here. So Stetica wigs, I think, um, are big head friendly usually, and they fit me. Uh oh, my cat is rubbing against the camera, against my tripod. Did you see that little shake? Um, I think that they, you know, they have lots and lots of stretch. So I think if you are kind of average petite to average large, I think Aesthetica has a wide range of heads that that will be able to fit these caps. So that's my two cents about fit. Thanks for watching, you guys, and stick around for the outside look of this color. All right, here we've got Ryan outside, twelve twenty six RT four with the rooting. Love this color so much. Such a great color. Hope that was helpful.